So on my last video I said that I wanted to explore the east, Norfolk, the Fens. Well today I'm in Suffolk. Southwold in Suffolk. Beach huts. Quite an iconic shot apparently um, in Southwold and it's a lovely shot to take. Um, there was a gorgeous sky this morning for about 10 seconds and I was just fanning around. Now can I say fanny? Oh, yeah. Is the sail. There's <laughs> <laughs> a rag and bone man here. <laughs> well, you've got a habit of just walking in and out of my vlogs. I'm just not going to bring you anymore. Nutter. Nutter. That's fine, mate. It's fine. I don't mind. Because I just said the word fanny and then just questioned myself whether I could say fanny in a vlog. I think so. <laughs> Sorry. It's fine. No, I'll use it. I've now got to think how I'm going to cut from where I said fanny to carry on where I was. Right. <laughs> so yeah, the sky was nice for about 10 seconds. I got down here, um, I'm here with Darren and Gary, as you'll have just seen, and I got here and got tried to get set up to get the sky as it was turning, and just messed around in these dunes. Uh, there was about four or five other photographers as well, all trying to get that same image. Um, so we'll see. I'll put it up in a minute and have, let you have a look at it. But it's just good to get out. It's that horrible time between Christmas and New Year where you never know what day it is. You've eaten too much. So it's just great to get out and walk along the seaside, get that fresh air in your lungs and get some time out with a camera, which I've missed getting out actually. Now I was obviously feeling a bit rusty from not getting out with a camera because I'm really not that happy with this image if I'm honest. I'm going to talk a little bit later in the video about why I'm not that happy with it but uh, yeah this was probably the best one I shot that morning uh, of the sunrise over the beach huts. Anyway back to me in the dunes. So we're gonna have a wander along the dunes and see what else we can come up with and enjoy the Suffolk coast. <laughs> So I'm trying my hardest to get all creative here with these marron grasses and I'm struggling if I'm honest, I really am. What I've just tried to do with this shot, I've got the 70 to 200 and I'm on my F4 and I'm focused at these, the top of these reed heads here, all these grass heads, with the sky in the background which has got some orange in it. Yeah, just trying to just to do something a little bit different with the layers. So you've got the grasses at the front, which are in focus, and then the back is going to be out of focus because I'm at F4, um, just with the colours of the sky. I don't know whether it will work, but we'll see. Yeah, it's creativity is something I've definitely got to improve on. As you can probably tell, I really wasn't feeling it that morning. Don't get me wrong, I had a really good morning with Darren and Gary. It's always good to get out with those guys. Um, it is good fun and we enjoy each other's company and uh, yeah, it was a good morning. But as far as photography is concerned, um, yeah, I don't know what it was. I think maybe I turned up slightly later than I'd hoped. It was a two and hour drive for me. I got there at about half seven, 20 to eight. Sun was rising, it was about eight o'clock. Um, and by the time I got my stuff out of the car and get down to the beach, as I said on the, uh, the video, there's lots of other photographers around and struggling to get a decent position. And then I was just faffing around trying to get, uh, get a composition I was pleased with. And I don't think I did. Um, so the shot that I end up taking, that or well, the best one of the morning, um, I think the reason I didn't like that particular shot was the composition wasn't great. Um, it had the beach huts in it, it had a nice sunrise in it, um, but 
Yeah, there was just a lot to it that I didn't like compositionally. So let me quickly dive into Lightroom and I'll expand on that a bit. So this is the image that I shared earlier. Um, so what don't I like about it? Well, there's several things actually. Um, the main thing I think, well, there's two main things. Actually, no, there's three main things. <laughs> Footprints is the first thing, and now I know this couldn't be avoided. Um, it's a really busy area, and obviously it doesn't get the tide up, so um, the only way these footprints uh, are going to be uh, not going to be there is on a you know really windy day, and the wind's just blowing it all flat. So, but I didn't particularly like these footprints. I thought it looked messy. Um, so that was the first thing. The other thing is I shot this um, with uh, sixteen to thirty-five, and it was like twenty millimeters, as you can see. Now, um, because of that, there was a bit of lens distortion, and I've got some angles on these beach huts here that are bowing to the left and to the right. Now, yes, I could correct that in post. I could spend a bit of time correcting all those in post, but I think because of the image itself didn't particularly work for me, I haven't spent time doing that, so that's another thing I don't particularly like about it. And the other thing, compositionally, I think that you know, you've got a sunrise in the background, and yeah, it's a nice sunrise, and it's a good sky, and then you've got the wispy grasses in the front, and I don't mind this, this, this these wispy grasses, I think that sort of bit of movement is, is okay, but then you've got a big block of these beach huts in the middle, and I think it just stops the eye, and it acts as a barrier, it's like having a fence across the image, um, I think compositionally it doesn't really work. Um, and therefore, as a combination um, of these footprints, the distortion, the block of beach huts. Um, yeah, I, I think, as I say, it just doesn't work because of those reasons. Now, visually, I think it works quite well. Um, if I, this is the image that I ended up editing after Lightroom and Photoshop. If I click over to the image that I edited in Lightroom originally, um, you can see this is before I took it to Photoshop. So you can see what I've done in Photoshop is I added um, some luminosity masks just to help the, the colors become a little bit richer uh, and you know using the brightness of uh, the sky just to, to enrich those colors a little bit more. So that helped it visually. Uh, also, as you can see, cloned out a couple of those posts that are on the beach there. But if you look on the left hand side here, you'll see the amount of work I've had to do to this image. You know, it's a massive amount of processing. Now, you know, I'm sure many people will spend that amount of time processing an image as standard, but I don't tend to process that that many different things, if I'm honest. And that just proves to me that the image didn't work. Actually, if you look back, I'll show you the raw file. So when I imported it in, there we go. <laughs> now that's what I had are in camera now yes it's a raw file a raw file so it's flat um and there'll always be things you can do to it but for to get from that to where i ended up um there was a massive amount of processing to do and i think again that was another reason why i wasn't particularly happy with the image because of the amount of work i needed to do to it now i did take another shot um the one you saw me taking on the beginning of the video um, Again, this one was later in the morning, so it's not as warm. Um, I have tried, it looks quite green as well, which I don't like, and I've tried to take some of that saturation of the green out. Um, but again, compositionally, this works a bit better, but I don't like this. Now too many footprints and the sand is too messy and this tuft of grass is in the middle. Or, um, I don't think adds a lot to it at all. So I didn't even bother to fully edit that one. I just gave up halfway through. Um, so yeah, that's that's my reasons. I think, as I said to you earlier on, I think when I got there late, I wasn't spending enough time pre in preparation. So I've ended up creating an image that works visually, but technically and from a composition perspective, um, it's not great. So there you go. So there you have it. They're my reasons for not particularly liking that image. Now, um, I wasn't going to make this vlog, if I'm honest. Uh, I didn't take a great deal of B-roll and didn't do an outro on location. In fact, I told Gary and Darren I wasn't going to release this vlog, but I've been thinking about it and I thought, well, it's strange because the image itself that I did share on a couple of Facebook groups uh, actually went down really well and a lot of people said it was a great image, they loved it. Um, and it got me thinking, well, as a photographer, we're our, we're our worst critics. You know, We're the ones that will find fault in all of our images. And 
I think the reason people liked it because of the colours and you know you've got some nice colours in the beach hut it's a nice colourful image with the sunrise and I think sometimes on social media those type of images do well but I wanted to share with you guys hence why I've made this vlog as to why for me the image didn't work uh, what was wrong with it what could have made it better and um, I guess just the point that sometimes we maybe shouldn't be as critical on our workers, um, you know, as we are, because, you know, it's our view of that image, um, but it, we've got that connection with that image. We we know why that image didn't work, and others haven't. Uh, and it's just an interesting point I thought was worth sharing, that sometimes, you know, if you hate an image or don't like an image yourself, uh, and somebody else loves it. It's just so subjective. Um, you know, our, our hobby is so subjective. So, yeah, I just thought that was quite interesting. Um, so, I hope this has been an interesting vlog for you. Um, it's been a bit different. And, um, yeah, I will see you on the next vlog, hopefully on a location where I'm taking images that I'm happy with from start to finish. And uh, I look forward to taking you along on that one with me. So, yeah, till the next one. Thanks for watching, uh, and I'll see you soon. Cheers, bye.